Hello everyone, my name is Miss Catherine and welcome to Fort Worth Public Library's Let's Create Storytime. We're going to get started with a hello song and this song is called Hello Friends and it has a few signs that I can show you. To say hello, we will use a salute just like that. And the sign for friends is our two fingers saying hello. And then to say it's time, we'll point to our wrist where we might wear a watch. And to say we touch the tip of our chin and go out just like that. All right, so here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good, everyone. Now we're going to sing it one time in Spanish. And the words um, for hello, friends in Spanish is hola, amigos. And guess what? The sign stays the same, hola, amigos. And to say it's time, we say it's es tiempo. To say, to say, a decir, hola, again. All right, hola, amigos. Hola amigos, hola amigos, es tiempo a decir hola. Very good. Thank you, everyone. This book is titled What the Ladybug Heard, written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Lydia Monks. Once upon a farm, there lived a fat red hen a duck in a pond, and a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, and a hairy hog, a handsome horse, and a dainty dog, a fine prize cow, two cats that purred, and a ladybug who never said a word. And the cow said, moo, and the red hen said, cluck, hiss said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog. And the one cat meowed while the other one purred. And the ladybug never said a word. But the ladybug saw and the ladybug heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, this is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. Open the gate in the dead of night, past the horse and then turn right round the duck pond past the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. Wow, look at this map they have to do a very bad thing. Then help was the ladybug's very first word and gathered round were her second and third. And she told the animals, this is how the thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate in the dead of night and pass the horse and then turn right, round the duck pond past the hog, being careful not to wake the dog, left past the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow shed. And the cow said, moo, and the hen said, cluck, hiss, said the goose, quack, said the duck, nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog, ba, said the sheep, woof, said the dog, and both cats began to meow, we can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But. The ladybug told them not to fear, and she whispered her plan into every ear. First the horse, then the cow, then the hog, then the sheep, the goose, the dog, the duck, the cats, and the hen. 
In the dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Lynn, opened the gate while the farmer slept and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, nay, with all her might. And Lynn said, that's the horse, turn right. And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck, said Hugh, we're right on track. Oink, said the cats. There goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Ba, 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 said the fat red hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Lynn. The duck on the pond said, moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. And they both stepped into the duck pond, splash. And the farmer woke and said, golly gosh. And he called the cops and they caught the men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Lynn. And then the cow said, moo. And the hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose. And quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Ba said the sheep, woof said the dog, and the farmer cheered and both cats purred, but the ladybug never said a word. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story about the little ladybug. Now we're going to sing a song about a ladybug. It is called, I Have a Little Ladybug, and it goes like this. But before we begin, I'm going to use a, a scarf but if you don't have a scarf at home, you could use a tissue, a sock, or any type of cloth that you can wave. All right, here we go. I have a little ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. I have a little ladybug, its wings are black and red. See the little ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. See the little ladybug flying here and there. Now she's landing on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Now she's landing on the ground and crawling everywhere. All right, thank you for singing that ladybug song with me. All right, everyone, now it's time for a ladybug finger play. It's called Five Little Ladybugs. And I have ladybug puppets today, but if you don't have them, that's okay, you can pretend. But let's get started. Five little ladybugs sitting in the sun. One flew off, whee, to have some fun. Now four little ladybugs sitting in the sun. Another flew off, whee, to have some fun. Three little ladybugs sitting in the sun. One more flew off to have some fun. Whee! Now there's just two. Two little ladybugs sitting in the sun. Another flew off. Whee! To have some fun. Just one little ladybug sitting in the sun. She flew off. Whee! To have some fun. Now no more ladybugs sitting in the sun. All right, the second book I'll read today is Old Black Fly, written by Jim Aylesworth and illustrated by Stephen Gamel. Old Black Fly's been buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Old Black Fly's been buzzing around and he's had a very busy, bad day. He ate on the crust of the apple pie. He bothered the baby and made her cry. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He coughed on the cookies with the chocolate bits. He drove the dog nearly out of his wits. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He frolicked on the eggs of the birthday cake. He licked up the frosting for goodness sake. 
Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He danced on the edge of the garbage sack. He got sweet honey on his dirty back. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He hid in the ivy by the kitchen sink. He stole some jelly as quick as a wink. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He played on the keys by the kitchen door. He read on the list for the grocery store. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He lapped up the milk in poor kitty's bowl. He nibbled on noodles in the casserole. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He crawled in the spills from the olive oil can. He pestered the parrot on her stand. And she said, shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He sneezed on the quilt on Grandma's bed. He rolled the red ribbon on her head. Grandma was mad and said, Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He sniffed the salami that sister sliced. He ran around her teacup once or twice. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He slept on the stack of clean underwear. He played on the vase by the velvet chair. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He dozed on the window in the summer heat. He made a little X with his feet. Shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe. He buzzed around the yarn on Mama's lap. He landed on the table, flap, flip, flap. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Then swat. All black flies done. Buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Old black fly is done, buzzing around, and he won't be bad no more. The end. All right, I hope you're ready for our next song. This song is called A Fly Is On My Knee, and it's uh, sung to the tune of Hi Ho the Dario. So sing with me, please. A fly is on my knee, a fly is on my knee. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my knee, a fly is on my elbow, a fly is on my elbow. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my elbow, a fly is on my pinky, a fly is on my pinky. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my pinky. Will you sing that one more time with me? All right, here we go. A fly is on my knee. A fly is on my knee. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my knee. A fly is on my elbow. A fly is on my elbow. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my elbow. A fly is on my pinky. A fly is on my pinky. Hi ho, just watch me blow. A fly is on my pinky. Great job, everyone. We have one more scarf song, and this one's about a fly. Now, if you don't have a scarf at home, that's okay. You can grab a tissue, a dishcloth, or even a sock, preferably a clean one. But here we go. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. Oh, shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Let's sing that one more time. 
Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. I feel, I feel, I feel like a morning star. Oh, shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Thanks everyone, I hope you had fun with that song. All right everyone, our final book today is Good Night Firefly by Gabriel Alborozo. Nina was scared of the dark, so it was good she had a nightlight, which made things better. Then one night, the electricity went out, oh no. Nina watched as scary shadows crept across her walls. Every noise sounded like the whispering of monsters. Mom? Dad? They must be fast asleep. So Nina went back to her room. Through her window, Nina saw a soft yellow glow. The yard was full of tiny dancing points of light. Fireflies! Nina ran outside. The fireflies whirled and flashed as Nina lifted her jar. Come on, little guy, come with me. Back in her room, the little firefly's light scared away the shadows. The only sound was the gentle night breeze. But there was still one problem. Nina wasn't sleepy anymore. What could she do? Under the bed covers, Nina read her book by the firefly's golden light. She read aloud so he could hear, and she pointed to the most exciting pictures. But when Nina finished the story, and she still wasn't tired, she had another idea. Nina gathered her dolls together and put out her tea set. More tea, firefly, she asked. The firefly's light slowly flicked on and off. She guessed that meant no. Want to make shadow puppets, firefly, she asked. Nina held her hands up into his light. First she made a rabbit, then a duck, and a dinosaur. But the firefly blinked slower and slower, and the shadow animals grew dimmer. Nina was about to play dress up when she noticed how dark it was getting. Peering into his jar, she saw the firefly lying at the bottom. His light had become very faint. Firefly, is your electricity low? What do you need? Nina tried everything she could think of to make his light stronger. A battery? Mm -mm. A wind-up key, afraid not. Her favorite chocolate bar, nope, nothing worked. Suddenly, Nina knew what to do. Under the tree, a sparkle of fireflies blinked and swirled as she turned the lid. Her little Firefly slowly rose up out of the jar. As he flew higher and higher, his light became brighter and brighter. Back in bed, Nina gazed at the soft light glowing through her window. Good night, Firefly, she whispered. And the fireflies answered, Good night, Nina. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed our last book about the firefly. Now we're going to do a finger play called Two Little Fireflies. And if you will just follow along with me. All right. Two little fireflies sitting on a hill, one named Jack 
the other name Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little fireflies sitting on a cloud. One name quiet, the other name loud. Fly away, quiet. Fly away, loud. Come back, quiet. Come back, loud. Two little fireflies sitting on a stick. One name slow, the other name quick. Fly away slow, fly away quick. Come back slow, come back quick. Two little fireflies flying in the sky. One name low, the other name high. Fly away low, fly away high. Come back low, come back high. All right, our next song is about a firefly. And I like this song because it includes the American Sign Language sign for firefly. To make the sign, we take our first hand, just like a fly, and then we add a tail that shines, just like that. All right, here we go. Sparkle, sparkle, firefly, shining in the nighttime sky. Shining bright for all to see, glowing oh so merrily. Sparkle, sparkle, firefly, shining in the nighttime sky. Thank you, everyone. Our craft today is a firefly craft. You can pick up a craft sack at any open library. Just give them a call. If you don't have a craft sack, here's what you'll need. One Chanel stem, a clothespin, a pair of sticker eyes, a piece of paper cut out like a light bulb, and a glue dot. All right, so our first step is to grab our Chanel stick, bring the ends together, and give it a little twist. There we go. And then we'll bring the closed end up and twist it again. Whoops, that came apart, but we'll just twist and twist and it'll be just fine. And there we go, we have our wings. And then we'll take our clothespin and just clip them on right there. Next, we'll take our sticker eyes There's one, and two. Next, we'll grab our glue dot. Voila, there we go. And I'm just gonna stick it right there. But you can stick yours wherever you want your paper light bulb to go. And now I'm going to get my light bulb and put it right there. And there you have it, one little firefly. All right, friends, the time has come to say goodbye for now. So we'll close with our goodbye song, Goodbye Friends. And here are the signs. Goodbye, friends, it's time to say goodbye. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. In Espanol, por favor. In Spanish, please. The signs are the same. We just are changing uh, adios. Here we go. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Es tiempo a decir adios. Very good. Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.